In this video, we're going to look at using our exponent properties in order to simplify the expression a to the two-thirds, b to the one-half, a to the one-sixth, b to the one-fifth. To simplify this, we recall we have an exponent property that says if we've got something to an exponent times that same thing to another exponent, what we can do is add those exponents together as we combine the variable. We see a's that can be combined into a single a by adding the exponents two-thirds plus one-sixth. We recall to add with fractions, we need a common denominator of six. Multiplying by two gives us four-sixth plus one-sixth equals our new exponent of five-sixth. When the bases are multiplied, we add the exponent, getting a common denominator. We can do the same thing on the b's as we combine the b's together, adding those exponents one-half plus one-fifth. In order to add these, we need a common denominator by multiplying by five and two to give us five-tenths plus two-tenths equals seven-tenths. The new exponent on b is seven-tenths, and we have now multiplied this expression together, giving us a to the five-sixth, b to the seven-tenths. Let's take a look at another example, which uses another property of exponents. This example, x to the one-third times y to the two-fifths, all to the three-fourths power, will use two common properties of exponents. Recall that if we have a product raised to some exponent, we can put that exponent onto each factor, giving us a to the m, b to the m. Move that over a bit, going off the screen. Also recall, we have another exponent property, where if we have an exponent raised to another exponent outside of parentheses, what we can do is multiply those exponents together. Seeing a similar thing in this problem, we'll take that three-fourths and put it in onto each factor. As we do, we're going to have to multiply the double exponents together. On x, we're going to multiply the one-third times the three-fourths. You may recall that when multiplying exponents, we can reduce... when multiplying fractions, sorry, we can reduce first by dividing out the threes, leaving just one-fourth behind. We have x to the one-fourth power. For the y's, when we multiply two-fifths times three-fourths, we can reduce the two and four, leaving behind a two, and then multiply straight across to get three-tenths. We now have y to the three-tenths power. This becomes our final answer, x to the one-fourth, y to the three-tenths. Using rational exponents, we can use the same properties of exponents that we saw before, simply applying the fraction rules of common denominators when adding and multiplying straight across.